trending with the ending. Swordfish 2001. Talk about it trending with the ending here. When I first saw Swordfish, I was so surprised and kind of very happy to see John Travolta get away. I'll be very get away. She's not dead. Uh, what a reveal there. And Hugh Jackman gets away with his daughter and the cash. So I love the ending, how it's all happy. Uh, they get away from the law, of course, they're doing bad things and they escape, but it, it's a really rare that you see the bad guy escape with the cash and the good guy and everyone live. Uh, you know, you've got to go to Travolta with Swordfish. He's got things planned to a T. The Silence of the Lambs, 1991. Jodie Foster, Anthony Hopkins here, one of the greatest uh, horror, if you want to call it that, for sure, or serial killer movies ever. Uh, Hannibal Lecter here escapes in the end. It's trending with the ending because, you know, to see the villain, this, this serial killer, this beast, uh, this cannibal escape and he's gonna get Dr. Chillness here. You know, he's following him on his vacation. I love it, the phone call between him and Claire, Claire Reese here and he's gonna have his dinner tonight. He's thinking about having someone to dinner tonight and he follows him. What an ending to see the bad guy just free finally after being in jail for so many years. What a trending with the ending. Saw 2004. This is the trending with the ending that is the top of the pyramid. Um, you know, you got Saw. Did not see this ending coming. Who knew that this guy, Jake so the killer was actually in the room with these two poor souls here uh, the whole time, playing dead or what have you, trained uh, to stay still. What a phenomenal ending. You get to see him rise from the ashes, and he's been behind it the whole time in the room. Uh, so what a trending with the ending. Everyone was talking about this back in 2004. So was I. Friday the 13th, 1980s. Yeah, uh, talk about trending with the ending, that jump scare. You know, of course, it's, it's legendary. Everyone knows about it. She's sitting in the bowl with the fingers in the water. The cops are coming up. Friday the 13th is over. The horror is over, Mrs. Ward. No, it's not. Jason pops out, grabs her, and uh, brings her underwater. What a little shock scene that was for sure. Big shock. Big trending with the ending, because this kind of ending trended for years to come, even now. Die Hard, 1988. For me, the real rare viewer, I'm going to put this on a list of trending with the ending, because it's the action hero guy. You know, uh, Bruce Willis here, McLean does endings better than Schwarzenegger, better than Stallone, better than any action hero you're going to know about or see uh, is going to be Mr. Bruce Willis and John McLean. These endings are so trending. He takes out the bad guy in a way where you're like, yeah, and he deserves it, especially at at the end you think it's over bad guy pops up but i really like the setup when everything is over at the end and the cops are out the, the snow is falling everyone is happy it's so cin cinematic these endings in die hard i just it, it, it takes place on a mass scale it's so trending jeepers creepers 2001 uh you know Derry and his sister man this whole time i thought the creeper was going after her sister but in the end uh you know sister tries to once Derry and his sister tries to tell it you know take me take me instead of Derry. What a sacrifice we're going to put down. And the whole time you're thinking it's going to take her. Uh, you know, it's going to switch out. But this Jeepers Creepers dude does not take the bait. He wants Derry's eyes. He wants those peepers. What a trending with the ending because I thought it was going to end so nice and calm and they're going to go home. Hell no, they're not. Back in 2001, here you go, Jeepers Creepers. Make the creature take the innocent. And that's how you trend with an ending. Trending with the ending. 